Welcome back to the channel. Today, showing you what I picked up during the Bass Pro Shop Spring Fishing Classic Sale. I had uh, credits from buying all the electronics you saw from the Black Friday unboxings and gift cards and all the good stuff. So let's see what we got. All right, so part of this order is from when me and Cousins Fishing went up, um, right after they opened the new Bass Pro here in Cincinnati. Grabbed a couple things and then I didn't use all my gift cards and credits. So I went online and then I placed an online order. So this is everything combined. Um, we're gonna start with the most expensive thing, but we're gonna start with the baits and we'll get to the more high-end thing later. So let's get into the bait. First part is uh, all Z-Man products. Um, I don't, th I think only one of these items are actually on sale. The rest I just used my credits for. So uh, first one, which I realized I, I grabbed the wrong one, is a quarter ounce Mini Max. Uh, Pearl Ghost. I meant to grab three eighths or half, but I accidentally grabbed quarter. No big deal. We'll find you. So, you know what the Mini Max is? It is a pretty much a downsized version of a more stouter uh, chatter bait. They do make mini ones, but they have a really soft hook. This guy's got a pretty stout hook. You can throw those on normal bait caster, 16 pounds. Got a nice double keeper on there. Uh, so, that's Pearl Ghost. Then I got three eighths and the fire crawl. I have zero confidence in red chatter baits, so let's buy a little version and see if we can build confidence on that little guy. Last one is another three eighths and the bluegill color. Bluegill like to move up and bass. So sometimes that May, April bite, a bluegill, whatever, crankbait, spinnerbait, chatter bait works really well. So I went ahead and got some of those, uh, maybe target a smaller bluegill See what happens. Next two are the old Hellraiser and the new four inch. Yeah, four inch, three eighths. I had the bigger version last year. I threw it a couple times, didn't get bites, but I think it's super cool. It's got cool, crazy action that no other baits have. It's loud. I mean, I don't think you can hear it. It's loud, but they make me have the small version, so I want to try it. Uh, this is the bone color. And of course, got all chromey, so. We'll try those out, see if that I do any better luck on these instead of the big ones. And this last one, it's called the Minnow Z Smoky Shad. The whole reason I got these, it seems like every company out there comes out with a swim bait or under, underspin with a little wire keeper. Normal plastics get ripped as soon as the fish breathes on it. So, Z-Mans do just fine on wire. So, I want to try their swim bait out and just see how it does. It looks pretty cool. Just in the box. Um, I don't know if it says what size this is. Three inch. So that's a three inch one. It's got a nice little boot. A little softer boot. So I forgot to see any underwater videos on this, but it looked good. Smoky Shad's a cool color. I've had this before in other Z-Man products. So we'll try it and see how it does. Next, I got three trailers for those Mini Maxes. So I picked up the three inch Zacos. First one, it's called Fire Crawl. Look at that, perfect. The new packaging, kind of hard to see, so just good old orange and red. And then for the Blue Go one, I went with Laminated. To me, it's just like Green Pumpkin. Actually, no, it is Laminated. Huh, didn't even notice that. It's like that uh, trans stamp color. Green Pumpkin on bottom, black and blue on top. I'm actually a lot more excited I got this one. Come on, GoPro, at least show it off a little bit. So, pretty excited. Let's see if this is sealed. It's sealed. It's sealed. I'll show you in a the video. Then the last three is, gotta get it. They have electric shad in that three inch, so. Got electric shad, of course. Another super good color. They did have power bait on sale, Berkeley power bait, so I grabbed some of the Berkeley power bait stuff. Uh, this is all the paddling power stinger and then the normal power uh, stinger. Uh, this is the paddling version. I got two and three and a halfs. Of course, got electric shad for my swim jigs, but also just normal swim bait heads. Threw around a little bit last year. I do like it. It's a stiffer plastic, so especially on swim jigs, they'll give you that secondary head motion. And uh, I think these are like four or five bucks. Can't remember on the discount, but they hold up pretty well too. And then I got good old uh, another three and a half in pearl white. 
So if you guys remember my one of my other unboxings, I did went with two Blue Go colors. Now I went with two Shad or Minnow type uh, trailers. And then I got the same thing in the normal Power Singer for Chatterbaits, but I went with a bigger size, four and a quarter. So there's the electric Shad. Looks good in that, nice and good. And then Pearl White. Pearl White, this is a, you got dirty water. I just, I have so much confidence just doing Pearl White and electric Shad and Lily. As soon as that water is not chocolate milk. Next one is mainly for what's coming up. Uh, Tim and Matt Allen are talking about these. So I went and grabbed one and it's pretty nice out of package. Went with the Savage Gear uh, Pulse RTF. It is a four inch, one ounce, little little bluegill. It's called, which color is that? It's either bluegill or brim. I don't remember what the color is, but it seems super cool. I'm really digging it. Come with a super cool clamshell. Good job, Savage Gear, on that. But uh, it feels pretty, pretty rigid. But that dude's super cool. I mean, I like it. I like the detail on that little guy. Um, I was gonna go with the one with the weedless bait hook, but everyone complained about that one. This one had pretty good reviews, so I went ahead and got that guy. Super pumped. Be another bait once they start moving up. The bluegills are starting to mess with the bass. I will definitely throw in this. So around April, I do really good in bluegill colors all the way through May, and that depends. Of course, it depends on your lake, but around here, it's like once May hits, bluegill colors start doing really, really well. So we're gonna throw that one around, see if that will trigger a bigger bite. We'll find out. Another springtime bait. Went ahead and got the pearl and the old freestyle. Want to throw these more? Been trying to. I suck with. I have no confidence in big baits. So after five minutes of catching one, I put it down. Pick up a crankbait. So trying to. Build my confidence, I'm gonna probably make a day soon of me just going out with big baits and that's all I throw. So, hopefully that's a player. Saw these Missile Baits Warlock heads. Quarter ounce, little shaky heads. And kind of dig them. Um, wish there was black, they had black ones, but green pumpkin will work. But uh, I like that Archie type head. And it does like, it kind of has it. it kind of has an Archie head but it's really bought round on the bottom. So I think this might be able to give me the best of both worlds, but that's what it looks like. Definitely throw like a little six inch shaky worm on that guy. Either the T-Mac or the, uh, uh, what's that? Six cents divine. They're also running some sales on some of the Guggen baits. So uh, I want to throw some more crappie baits this year. So I found a little two inch snacky slimmer, swimmer. It's a natural color. This dude looks super cool. I will give props to Dugan. They put all their stuff in clamshells. I'm a big opponent of clamshells, but I like that little guy. So definitely give him a world soon. Next is the new Mustad Alpha Point. I think it came out last year in ICAST, but uh, I bought these for my swim baits because uh, freestyles and the sweep weigh like an ounce and a quarter. I uh, clearly don't weigh heavy enough because when you put this hook on, it just, Full, it falls. So I'll probably use these for my bigger flukes, like the six cents flush. But this is what the packaging looks like. Nice packaging. One hook's already out, I'm using it. But uh, that's the hook. I mean, it's kind of a cool gaff to it. Um, at first I thought this would be kind of stupid, but it comes on the baits real well. I still recommend owner's uh, center points. So I'll probably throw these on my uh, bigger flushes or bigger flukes. They had some of the XPS floor carpet on sale. So I've used this some stuff before. And at the time I was a little low on 20 and then my order for my big bulk actually got processed. So this will probably be used for something this year. So we're gonna try this 20 pound out. It's 175 yards. Next, if you saw my video a couple weeks ago, painted blades were the deal. So went ahead and uh, picked up two more. Picked up the same color as last time the War Eagle, half ounce, little chartreuse, big white blade. And I picked up a 3 8 in the coleslaw. And it's all white blades, so I'm gonna try that one as well. Get some painted blades in the boat. Then they have some of the swerves. 
were on sale with a uh, brush tail. So picked one of those up and I put it on my course Dobbin swim bait rod and you can see with the brush tail. So I haven't got a chance to fish it yet. I'm gonna, hopefully I'm going out tomorrow. So I'm gonna try it tomorrow and see how it does. But that is a uh, seven inches and it's 3.1 ounces and that's called sun bake bone. And with the tournament season about to kick off, the scale I have is a really nice scale that we use here at Associate Scale. We do sell these kind of scales. So I, it's a hanging scale for like food processing plants, but I brought it to the fishing world because it is so accurate and I can make calibrations to it. Uh, but it doesn't hold that well on weight and it doesn't store weights like our fishing tournament scales are. So I went ahead and picked up the Bubba scale. Before you even open this thing, this box is legit. Like overall, super sweet box. Good, good metal clips. And you open up, you got the scale. It comes with a chargeable battery that you can just pull out. Which is the only thing dumb about this is that you have to pull the battery out, charge it, and then put it back in. It's the only thing, only con I really have at this point. But if you don't want to use that, it comes with a little battery one. So I'll probably load these up with some nice Duracell double A's. So if for whatever reason, the little rechargeable battery back is not working, I can just throw this one in. And if you don't want this clip, they even send you a normal hook. So that's super cool. Come with instructions and everything. So really excited to use that uh, with the call system they have built in. I'm hoping that will help me call fish easier this year and then last but not least was the whole orders around and pretty much what ate my entire credit and some of my gift cards up the garmin ultra or going usd 93 sv i have a garmin on my back console i messed up uh, transducer up a couple like about a year ago and I had a hard time finding that transducer so I haven't really been using it so with me fishing in the Cincinnati Bass League and I'm just actually just joined another Bass League I, I really believe I need to learn to side scan and get better at that so we picked up a new graph so I can learn how to side scan better and it comes with Navionics so that should definitely help me find fish that is what I got from the Bass Pro Shop Spring Fishing Classic Sale. Um, not too bad, not too bad. Um, a lot of baits I kind of want to try, some baits that I already have confidence in, but a good mix of bag for the springtime and right now fishing. So if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon.